This study is very important because we, one of the main goals trying to predict and to prevent heart attacks is to know who might be the person most likely to have it. Uh, we need to identify those at the highest risk so we can target strategies and treatments we have to prevent heart attacks better. And also people who recognize to be at risk for heart attacks, once they recognize that, they tend to be more receptive, more likely to change behavior because it, you know, it's seen as a reality check that you know, it, the chances are not low and therefore um, patients or people feel more um, motivated to change behavior and take medications, etc. Well, another important finding of this study was the uh, demonstration that individuals taking statins, you know, so these medications to lower cholesterol, the most widely medication used for treat, uh, to treat cholesterol, uh, that even individuals taking statins, the prediction of heart attacks and strokes was actually very good. Uh, when, when those studies used to create the pool cohort equation uh, were performed, th those studies were performed before statins became widely available. So those individuals included in the original creation of this pool cohort equation or tool, uh, very few were actually taking statins and therefore, you know, you wondered if taking a cholesterol lowering medication might actually change the, the prediction of heart attacks or the accuracy of the tool. And it turns out that it doesn't really affect that at all. Uh, if a patient is taking statins and you calculate the risk, it will be as accurate as if the person wasn't taking cholesterol lowering medications. In 2013, the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology gave us a very important uh, uh, equation called the pool cohort equation. The pool cohort equation is supposed to, it, it works as a shared decision tool for you to do some calculations and talk to your patient of where we currently stand in towards cardiovascular disease prevention. Most importantly, should we, we start in treatment for uh, high cholesterol and should we, we start in treatment for hypertension? Um, so um, the main purpose of the study was to validate in our community, and I, I can explain what that community is, uh, how well did the pool cohort equation perform? That was the main study, uh, main, main aim of the study. And we did some very interesting analysis where we demonstrated that if you have data that was outside of the ranges that the equation normally accepts as valid, then the, the equation is actually very good at predicting as well. So long story short, if you are 82 years old or maybe 29 and you're trying to get, or... Um, if your cholesterol, your systolic blood pressure is above 200, which is the range, it's very high and it's above 200, which is the range that the, uh, that the equation takes, or your cholesterol is above uh, of that, using those numbers or uh, using those numbers will give you enough, good enough information to, um, to actually predict.